a thread by Carlos Osuita in response to Tim Poole's video, Civil War 2.0 is upon us. Far left breaches federal court. Democrats reject federal jurisdiction. Totally inaccurate reporting, Tim Poole. In your lust to fan the flames, you got it absolutely wrong. Protesters pulled down a part of the fence and were immediately repelled by the feds. They never got into the courthouse. If you actually took, to took the time to learn how things work, you wouldn't keep broadcasting fake news. And the attack on Fort Sumter was carried out with heavy artillery on April 11th, 1861. They fired for 34 hours straight. Where's the heavy artillery, Tim? See, you need to stop talking about civil wars because you have no idea what they are. A civil war is a sustained high intensity conflict between the armed forces of a recognized government and the organized armed forces of a rival government. This is nothing compared to what happened in the 60s and 70s. Yet we didn't call that a civil war because we knew that words have meaning. You can't make up new definitions for words just to fit your argument. And why are you making this argument anyway? Your claim is an editorial, which means you're not reporting facts, but trying to sway others. Why is it so important to you that we believe that this is the second civil war? What do you want done? Do you want a massive government crackdown? Do you claim to support freedom? Why do you want President Trump to consider civil unrest a civil war and react with airstrikes? Or do you want conservatives to take up arms? Or do you want all of us to simply submit? Is that why you persist in this delusion that we're in the midst of a second civil war? You need to sit down with yourself and have a nice long introspection session and figure out why it's so important for you to convince people that war is peace, freedom is slavery, and ignorance is strength. If your goal is to discredit leftists, this isn't the way to do it. You, like almost everybody else, are ascribing superpowers to buffoons. One Delta Force operator could take out every single Antifa and BLM thug there in under an hour. Give the operator suppressed weapons and the thugs would be sitting ducks. This was the last known attempt by Hamas to carry out a tunnel attack into Israel. YouTube video in the, in the linked uh, thread description. Hamas dug attack tunnels lined with prefabricated concrete and fitted with lighting and power. The tunnels had sophisticated computer-run surveillance and defenses installed by Qatar. These tunnels represented a massive intelligence failure on the part of Israel. During the 2014 war with Gaza, the Israelis found and laboriously destroyed 30 attack tunnels. The Hamas is al-Din al-Qasim brigades trained commandos called Nakba, who operate in assigned tunnels. One platoon or company uses one specific tunnel. The number and locations of the tunnels are a state secret. Only one man knows. From January of 2016 to October of 2017, somebody infiltrated Gaza and destroyed 32 attack tunnels. Each tunnel was destroyed as its Nakba were training in it. They all died. 
The tunnel of the Nakba school was also destroyed and the instructors were killed. Nobody was ever captured. Hamas went insane, trying to find out who was doing this and how. The families of Nakba were kidnapped and tortured. Commanders were assassinated. The tunnel destruction continued relentlessly from inside Gaza. Finally, Nakba commanders began defecting to Israel, bringing maps and intelligence. In October of 2017, the Israelis took over the destruction of tunnels from inside Israel. They figured out how to locate them. On April 6, 2018, about 20,000 Palestinians rushed the fences. They had set fire to enormous piles of rubber car tires to create a wall of black smoke. This was the tunnel attack. Hamas set up a tent city on the right. Weeks earlier, ambulances brought in prefabricated concrete and weapons. The dirt dug from the tunnels was put in berms, ostensibly built to protect protesters from sniper fire. The tunnels went from the tents to the border fence on the left. That's over here, border fence, all right. The dirt or sand was taken out of the tents and pushed by bulldozers to make it look like this was the material used to create the berms. The exits of the attack tunnels were covered by sheets of plywood and a thin layer of sand. When the tires were lit, there's your stacks of tires, the crowd would rush the fence and breach it, and the Nakba would enter Israel, killing as many Israelis as possible and kidnapping others. But guess what? Someone inside Gaza killed all the Nakba. About 150 of them, right there, on the spot. It's not known how it was done. Every single second of April 6th, 2014, was being filmed. The Palestinian, I think, I think he must have meant April 6th, 2018, was being filmed. The Palestinians claimed that nine civilians were shot and killed and 1,500 injured. When furious civilians asked why they had to die, Hamas admitted that it had lost 150 men. They were killed in the tunnels. It was a hell of an operation. There were at least three tunnels, which means 50 men per tunnel, about the size of a Nakba platoon. I'm sure the unseen operators used fuel air explosives. I saw one funeral of a Nakba. They'd stuff cotton in his ears, nostrils, mouth, and eye sockets to keep everything from leaking out. Footage from Syria and Iraq show entire city blocks of dead terrorists with the tops of their heads flattened. Hezbollah's top military commander, Mustafa Badranid, uh, Badranid, was killed in Syria by a shock wave. A tiny missile landed nearby and produced such massive blast, of, blast effect that his internal structures were liquefied. He became a jellyfish. It wasn't the Israelis destroying tunnels and killing Nakba in Gaza. Someone would have leaked it by now. It was the Saudis and Emiratis, and they've trained our folks in their dark arts. Hamas is armed and state-supported. Antifa isn't even well-trained. We're not in a civil war no matter how many times someone says it. The term civil war has a fixed definition. If you want to be taken seriously as a journalist, behave like one. Otherwise, 
you're as bad as the posers you claim to hate. And now I'm getting off Twitter for the night. Never had my thread broken three times. <laughs> Tim's got powerful friends.